Hey, what's up, True Experience Nation? It's your boy, Richie McKinney. Guys, and our mission is simple. It's clear. It's laser focused, and that is to help you learn how to experience your best life as I'm learning to experience mine. If you're new around here, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, we're about wealth, health, and experiences, and today we are continuing on in the book, 30 Days to a Better You um, by Tiffany Malott. And so we were on lesson three, and that is... What's keeping you from starting? Hmm? In the book, there was this quote, and it's like, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. And there's just so much truth to that. I got to ask, man, if that's what we're going for, and if being a better you is what you want, what's holding you back? What's keeping? Give me the excuses. Tell me. Write them down. Comment. Is it because you don't have time? Is it because you got kids? Is it because of your finances? Is it because you lack knowledge? News flash. Those are all e exact reasons why you should be starting. See, so many people focus on what they can't, and they're, they're so surrounded by negativity, they just... They want to pour out and say, man, I just can't. I don't have time. And they're thinking of all these excuses why they can't do it. You know, I saw a post the other day, and it speaks directly to this. And the post is something along these lines. You know, one person says, oh, man, I can't do that. Um, you know, I you know, work 60 hours a week. I'm busy. I got kids after that and all this kind of stuff. And I'm just, I'm wore out at the end of the day and yada, yada, yada. Another person says this, oh, my goodness, I have to do that. I work 60 hours a week, I got kids, I got ball games and stuff to do, and I'm wore out at the end of the week. I've got to make a change. Remember what we said? If you want change, you got to change. Well, if you don't ever start anything, how in the world are you going to achieve it? Think about that. You can never achieve something you don't ever start. So what's keeping you back from getting started? Is it because it's, you know, it's too much? Like you think it's just too much or you think you have to be good. I want to tell you about my personal experience with this. One, let me know if, you've, um, if you can relate. But, you know, I'll visualize and think ahead and see, you know, see the goals. And in the book, she talks about don't focus on the start. Focus on the, be laser focused on the end. Well, my first thought about that is I don't think you ever get to the end. There's never a finish line. Each goal is just a milestone, mile marker, stepping stone to the next bigger goal. And so I just, I don't think about it. I honestly have just transformed to think about and, and enjoy the journey. But the thing about the end is like when I used to sit back and think about the goals and then you know, I'd be daydreaming and then, you know, this thing would happen, that thing would happen. It would just get so big and so huge. And then I'd suck back to reality, you know, right after being pumped up, motivated, ready to go, thinking about my future. And then I come back and I open my eyes, it's reality. And I'm like, I can't do that. I'm not that type of person. Like, that's too much. Like, I can't achieve all those great things. I don't even know where to start. That's because you're maybe too focused on the ending. And we've talked about before, man, to get start, make it easy. Make it easy. Make it simple. It don't have to be all out. Get going. Actually, you should love the fact that you're not great and take joy in small victory. So that's one tip I can give you for getting started, especially if it's bad. Think about, I like to visualize where I'm going to be at and the improvements I've made along the way. See, when you start out and you're bad, I like that. It gets exciting because I know I'm going to see progress. Heck, the worse you are, the more progress you're going to see early on. I'll give you an example. I started doing push-ups maybe 60... 66 days ago today, my very first day, and I do push-ups slow and controlled and perfect, like perfect push-ups. I couldn't even do 10 perfect push. I couldn't. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm like, I'm like, I'm tired. My arms were shaking. I honestly had to get down on my knees and finish out the other, the other two. And part of them is kind of like, that's what I'm talking about. I pushed myself. I did the best I could, and then I just kept improving. And now, obviously. Now I can do 20 perfect push-ups, no problem, and just and bang them out. Now I'm increasing and I'm doing more sets. But that feels good, but that's because I didn't focus on doing 100. I focused on doing what I could, 
and I got started. And so everybody should be doing the same thing. Here's another tip that might help you get started. Make a plan. Okay, think about the things that we've already talked about. Write down your goals in each area that you'd like to achieve. You know, take some time out for yourself. You know, make sure you're giving to yourself first. Now, here's the other one. Make a specific plan when it comes to starting. It don't need to be like, yo, I'm going to do this thing tomorrow. I'm going to do push-ups tomorrow. No, no, no. When are you going to do push-ups tomorrow? Like what time specifically and where are you going to be at to do these push-ups? The more specific, it will increase your productivity tenfold. It will increase your chances of actually doing something if you actually have a plan to it. If there ain't no plan, ain't nothing going to get done. All right, so make sure you get started. That's the goal for the day. Pick something that you're trying to improve on. Hopefully, you've already written down one of the areas and get her done. Take action. Do something. Become better. Y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in. And I will say this. We have a private community where you get more of this kind of stuff of over 20,000 people that's about wealth and it's about health. So if you like this, you'll love that. If you want to get in there, please do me a favor and just let me know so we can get you added. You cannot find it because it is private. We have a lot of people, or secret rather. We have a lot of people who share before and after pictures and things in there like that, and they just, we don't want to open to everybody. So let me know so we can get you added in there specifically. Guys, appreciate you tuning in. If you like this kind of stuff and you're on Facebook, you know what it is. Go ahead and like the page and follow it because we put up a video every day and if you're on youtube hit the subscribe button man show some love out there and come on back and i'd love to hear some feedback until tomorrow i'm out